Good evening. I call the meeting of the City Council for today, May 28th, to order. Please stand and salute our beautiful flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, flag of, the of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation, nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, guests, <clears throat> welcome. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to make sure I wish everybody a belated uh, <clears throat> Memorial Day off. Uh, thank you all who participated in our uh, parade yes, uh, yesterday. It was a great day for, for the city and a great day for all of us. And if there's nothing, we're going to go on to our agenda. We have the acceptance of the minutes of May 13th, 2019, City Council meeting. That will be accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Catherine M. Asiap, Five Talk and Hill Lane, Bridgewater, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. We have the petition of In Good Health, Inc., 1200 West Chestnut Street, Brockton, for a retail marijuana license at 1200 West Chestnut Street, Brockton. David Noble, President, the license is for retail, manufacturing, and cultivation. The owner of the property is MNP Realty Trust. Oh, Councilors, that will be referred to the Committee on Public Safety. We have Mr. The President, the Audits Committee. Uh, Council Aina. If I might, Mr. President, just so that uh, we can uh, make that date and set it uh, uh, right now, I'd like to um, indicate that that's going to be held on Wednesday evening. I believe that's, in my right, June 5th? Wednesday evening, June 5th at 5.30 p.m. It's here before the Public uh, Safety Subcommittee. That's not a public hearing. It's just a mem just a, uh, a meeting of the uh, Public Safety Subcommittee here in uh, City Hall Chambers before the hearing, budget hearings that evening. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have the report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of May 8, 2019. That will be accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of May 20th, 2019. That, too, shall be accepted and placed there on file. There is communication from the Chief of Police request an authorization to expend grant monies related to the 2018 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant, JAG, awarded to the City of Brockton as a sub-recipient of the Plymouth County JAG project in the amount of $77,603. That too will be accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. And that too shall be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. And accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police request an authorization to expend grant monies related to the 2017 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant award to the City of Brockton as a sub-recipient of the Plymouth County JAG project, an amount of $80,433. That will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mail will be the same. That too shall be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. And accepted and placed on file. We have the Brockton United Audience. The purpose of this audience is to create unity among <coughs> residents of Brockton, whether born here or abroad, to welcome newcomers and to engage community members in building trust and solidarity between the different ethnic groups that make up the city of Brockton and the city's government. Bid City Council, January 14, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee and audience. That report was unfavorable. The question is on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? of uh, third reading. All those opposed? Wait. Six. We have a roll call vote, Mr. I think we do. Uh, <coughs> Madam Clerk, uh, roll call, please. 12. Okay. ASAC? No. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? No. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? No. Lally? No. DeCastro? No. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? No. That's six, six nays and four yeas. Six five it fails. It fails, fails to be, uh, okay. I believe it just dies right here, right? So it's it doesn't right. go to third reading. That's it. The uh, ordinance fails. President, I move reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail. Second. 
A motion for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail has been made. All those in favor of reconsideration? Uh, on the on the on the uh, the motion, uh, uh, I, I, I don't I don't believe under Robert's rules anybody that votes in the negative, like myself or Mr. Fowell, can then make a motion relative to what he just did. I believe procedurally that can't happen. I retract okay. my second. Sounds like a good plan to me. Okay. We'll just let Is that correct, here. Attorney Resnick? No, you're correct. Thank you. I, I thought it, just a point of information. I thought it was the prevailing side could move reconsideration. No and the, the side that did not prevail could not. And since the nays prevailed, would we not be allowed to move reconsideration? We reconsidered a vote that favored in the nays. So or if, the, if the majority was the yeas, that is correct. Yeah. So because the majority voted nay, um, the reconsideration vote would have to come from the yeas. The ordinance fails six to four. Move on to item number 13. Total appropriation of $660,000 from the stabilization fund to non-net school spending, <coughs> excuse me, in council May 15, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption <coughs> by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Asak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The appropriation is adopted. Total appropriation, appropriation of $20,000 from public property purchase of services to public property overtime and council May 13, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The, the question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Bonningham? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The appropriation is adopted. Total appropriation of $250,000 from DPW snow removal to planning and economic development, $250,000. In council, April 22nd, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was unfavorable. In city council, May 13, 2019. Ready to refer it back to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable as amended. The question is on adoption as amended by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please. Amendment amendment first. First. Actually, hand vote. Yeah. we will have a hand vote on the amendment. Uh, all those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The amendment carried. Now the question is on the adoption as amended by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please <coughs> call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monian? Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The <coughs> appropriation as amended is adopted. Mr. President, I move for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail in Second. 15. Second. Motion for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail uh, has been made and second. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? It fails. Order that the Brockton City Council acting on behalf of the City of Brockton to share by grant of perpetual right and easement to Mass Electric Company. <coughs> Said land being located at lot 46 on City of Brockton. Assessor's map number 32, 331 Oak Street off Calantha Avenue. In Council, May 13, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. And the question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? <coughs> yes. Monahan? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Approval of the payment of $21,739.08 from Finance Purchase of Services to Nugent Capital for the billing <coughs> per, uh, period of December 2016 through January 2017. In City Council, May 13, 2019. Reading refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. 
Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Order that pursuant to the Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half, City Council authorizes the reauthorization of Comcast revolving fund for fiscal 2020 from the cash receipts from Comcast franchise fees in excess of $675,000 pursuant to the cable license contract and further that the expenditures from this fund shall not exceed $750,000 without further appropriation during fiscal 2020. And Council May 13, 2019, Reading referred to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrancourt? Yes. E. Neary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Ten in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Order that the Brockton City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, does hereby grant an easement to Mass Electric Company, said underground system is located in, through, under and over and across and upon a certain parcel situated on the easterly side of L Street, being more particularly shown as parcel A, 11,003 square feet on a plan of land recorded with the P Plymouth County Registry of Deeds in plan book 23, page 638, 121 Main Street and 28 High Street. In council May 13, <coughs> 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. Yeah, the question is on adoption by roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrancourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Order that pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half, <coughs> the City Council authorizes the reauthorization of Parking Authority Revolving Fund to receive revenues from parking violation fines up to and including the amount of $250,000. Said funds to be expended by the Parking Authority to pay expenses of parking regulation, enforcement, and repair and maintenance of lots, facilities, and equipment, and capital projects but expenditures for capital project shall require the written approval both of the Park and Authority Board of Directors and the Mayor for Fiscal 2020. Amounts in excess of $250,000 shall be credited to the General Fund. In Council, May 13, 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Dancourt? Yes. Neary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. <coughs> 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53, and one half, City Council authorizes the reauthorization of the vacant and abandoned buildings revolving fund for the purpose of maintaining the abandoned building registry as well as the closing, boarding up, and care of vacant and abandoned buildings. Expenditures from the vacant and abandoned building revolving fund shall be made on the authority and direction of the Brockton Building Commissioner, provided that not more than $250,000 may be so expended without further appropriation from the vacant and abandoned buildings revolving fund during fiscal 20. In Council May 13, 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrancourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? And the order is adopted. Order that pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53, <coughs> and one half. City Council authorizes mm -hmm. the reauthorization of the demolition revolving fund for fiscal 2020 for the sole purpose of helping to fund the costs in connection with the demolition of buildings in the city of Brockton. Expenditures from the demolition revolving fund shall be made at the direction of the building superintendent with the written approval of the mayor, provided that no more than $110,000 may be so expended from the demolition revolving fund during fiscal 2020. In Council May 13, 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. 
Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. In compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the city preliminary will be held on Tuesday, September 17, 2019, and that the city election will be held on Tuesday, November 5, 2019, at various designated polling places. In Council, May 13, 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved that the superintendent of schools and such other staff that she may designate mm -hmm. Be invited to a finance committee meeting in May 2019 to provide an updated overview of funding, staffing, and educational equity issues for Brockton school population. In Council, May 13, 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. And the resolve is adopted. In the audits amending Chapter 2, Division 5, Section 2 183 of the revised audits of the City of Brockton. Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton, Section 2 183 of Chapter 2 of the revised audits is hereby amended by inserting subsection C as follows. Section C. The city solicitor shall provide the city council copies of all documents which would otherwise be available to the public and which are related to any civil or other legal action wherein the city, its officers, agents, or departments are named as a defendant or respondent, or where the city is a plaintiff. For the purpose of this section, public is defined as those documents which are received by the city or filed by the city and which are deemed public pursuant to applicable <coughs> rules, regulation, or law. The solicitor shall provide such copies within 14 days of the date of filing of said documents, annually, not later than April 1, and thereafter the city solicitor shall provide to the city council a quarterly report of pending legal actions and the status of that litigation. That will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance. Ordered that acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $77,603 from the U.S. Department of Justice Office of Justice Programs 2018 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant to Brockton Police Department 2018 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant Fund. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. Order of acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $80,433 from the U.S. Department of Justice, <coughs> Office of Justice Programs, 2017 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant to Brockton Police Department, 2017 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant. That too shall be referred to the Committee on Finance. All items on the agenda are available in their entirety for review in the City Clerk's <coughs> Office for all interested parties. Right, councilors, we've got the councilor Ian Airy. Unless you have a light on or something, yeah. Just this one? No, I'll, I'll wait. I want a moment first. I'll wait. Is it a moment? I haven't heard. Has anybody filed? Fine. Why don't we uh, ha take a short recess? We'll be right back. We're back on. Okay. Councilor Monahan. Mr. President, Councilor Monahan. Make a motion for a late file. Second. Second. A uh, motion has been for to accept the lease file. All those in favor? All those opposed? All right. Please, Mr. Com Clerk. Communication from the Treasurer requesting a transfer of $125,000 from Treasurer Debt Interest Short Term Notes to Treasurer's Medicare Tax. The transfer is necessary to cover the expected shortfall due through the remainder of the fiscal year. We have a communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Law, recommending that the city authorize a transfer of $125,000 from the Treasurer Debt Interest Short Term Notes to Treasurer Medicare Tax. 
Again, the transfer is necessary to cover the expected shortfall through the remainder of the fiscal year. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. The communications will be accepted and placed on file. Okay. Yeah. You want the order? Yeah. We have a transfer of $125,000 from Treasury debt interest short term notes to Treasury's Medicare tax. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. Council Ian Airy. Thank you, Mr. President. My, my, just a moment of personal privilege. You may, sir. I just want to uh, make mention and a reminder that uh, tomorrow evening, uh, May 29th, I'll be having a Ward 3 meeting at 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the uh, Kennedy School. So just wanted to let everybody know, the residents of Ward 3, and as always, the meeting's open to the general public. Thank you. Council Sullivan, followed by Cruz. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may, sir. Uh, counselors and those watching, I just wanted to let everybody know that the Trinity Catholic Drama Club will be hosting their musical performance oh, this coming week. It's the grades four through eight. Uh, it's Friday, May 31st, 7 p.m. at Cardinal Spellman High School, which is <coughs> 738 Court Street, and Saturday, June 1st at 3 p.m. Again, at Cardinal Spellman in the auditorium. It's Suzical the Musical. So if you have the time, it's only about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, please support these kids. They're working really hard. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Council Cruz. Thank you, Mr. President. I just thought it would be, we'd be remiss if we didn't take a minute this evening to uh, have a moment of silence for the, uh, the wife of a former call it member of this, uh, this board and uh, also our former register of voters. Uh, Jan McGarry was much more than John McGarry's wife, though. All of us who knew her, uh, I don't think I ever remember her without a great smile on her face. She was a great city employee. She was a school nurse who worked with some of the uh, neediest children in the city uh, where she was stationed. Always had a smile on the shoulder for them. And uh, uh, on f towards uh, our, our sympathy goes to the McGarry family. And uh, um, I'd like to ask a moment of silence for, for Jan McGarry. Well, while I still have the floor, let's make it a more happy occasion. My colleague next to me mm -hmm. is today it is Shirley Azak's birthday, and she turned <laughs> years old today. Happy birthday, Shirley. Right. Happy 21st. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Borgard. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. A uh, moment of personal privilege. You may, ma'am. Okay. Uh, two um, things. Let's thank summer. The summer resource guides for the community just came out uh, this weekend, and uh, they're available at libraries, at the Parent Information Center that's part uh, on the other side of the building, of uh, the Board of Health on Crescent Street, diagonal to 43 Crescent Street, um, the, uh, I'm sorry, the administrative offices. They're available at several other uh, locations and inside uh, City Hall too, I'm sorry. And they just have a ton of things for everybody to do with the kids this summer. And we're very optimistic about this summer. It was a great weekend. And I just um, think it's worth mentioning too that there's so many people that part of the volunteers uh, for um, the Memorial Day um, reception that they hold every year at uh, the BFW Post. 1046, and I think you know it's worth noting to thank them for all they did. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk, uh, Madam Councilor Lally. Mr. President, moment of personal privilege. You may, sir. I just wanted to announce that I'll be having a ward meeting June 19th, 6:30 to 8 p.m. at the Ashfield Middle School. Uh, the city's chief financial officer, Troy Clarkson, and the school department's chief budget officer, Aldo Petronio, will be there to talk about the budget and you know, what, we're, what we're dealing with. All right, thank you. Thank you, Council Ledley. Uh, Councilors, if there are no more personal privileges <laughs> moments being asked, I just have a couple items that uh, just to share with you folks. Um, as you know, next week will be our budget, budget hearings. Uh, we have three dates scheduled, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and if needed be, we'll go to Thursday. Hopefully, we will not need Thursday uh, to do it. Uh, you should have had your, you should have gotten your books. Mm -hmm. um, it was a, a great weekend of study, although the weather was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I wish it was kind of today, in a sense, so. Uh, but I just, I just also want to, just to share uh, something that kind of worries me a little bit in terms of uh, things that come up during budget seasons. Um, what needs to be reminded is that uh, it's for us to ask questions of the department and to get information so that we can share that with the public. It's not supposed to be about 
making speeches and you know stretching it out as far as we can stretch it. Uh, but I just I just want to caution everyone that we should just stay to the point, you know, stay to the point, and basically focus on the departments that are here and focus on those specific departments to make it as easier for both us to understand on the inside and the folks who are watching us at home to understand exactly what we're talking about. And with that, I think we're going to have a, a decent Council Sullivan. Mr. President, um, I was just wondering, in your capacity as president, if you are going to follow the same rules that Councilor Ianeri, when he was president, myself and Mr. Cruz, if a, if a named department head does not appear that night, are you going to accept the proxy, which I don't think we should do that? No, I made that point very clear to both the clerk and the auditor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, and also, I also asked them that when they come before us, that they should be, they should have the courtesy of one, addressing the counselors with information about their own departments, and also the public that are watching us at home to give, us, to give the folks a sense of what those specific departments actually do. You know, not just to show up and say, uh, Councilor Sullivan, you know, and, and, and pull one of those, but basically state what your position is and what that department does Excellent. for the city. Excellent. So hopefully they'll do that, and you know what? If they don't show up, guess what? We'll, we'll go without them, and then they'll have to come back uh, in front of us for appropriations as we move forward. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, having no further business of the people of the city of Brockton, this meeting is adjourned.